Hi, my name is Matt Weston and I'm the Lead Evangelist for Power Software. I'm a Microsoft MVP, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and a Microsoft 365 Certified Enterprise Administrator Expert. I've been using Microsoft Teams since it was in preview and I specialise in the rollout, the adoption and the governance of Microsoft Teams. So I am your technical contact, your advisor and your partner with Power Teams. When you start with Microsoft Teams, it's important not to restrict users from working within the Microsoft Teams client. There is a reason for each company using Microsoft Teams. So based on this, why scenarios are established to illustrate how to work with Teams and what is used within. Power Teams helps to allow users to operate within these scenarios without having to know all of the technical requirements and conditions in order to operate in the desired way. Let's look at an example. You are a project manager and need to create a team for a customer project. You only have to click on create a new team. Then you'll have to choose the templates for your use case. I only see the templates that I can use based on my user profile. For now, I'm going to use the IT project template. Important tags are already shown on my screen, with some already having default values. I am free to change these and certainly have to for the mandatory fields. We can change the country and the, or the location and also set a project end date. So in this case, my project will be finished by the end of June. As I need to create the team for my intranet project, I'm going to enter the name. I don't have to know the required naming policies as this is applied automatically for me based on the values that I've assigned to the tags and also the name that I've entered for the team. With choosing the owners and members, I have finished the team's creation and I've had a nice graphical wizard based experience in doing so. Users can also look forward to our AI based recommendations for team members to add to the teams but also to detect teams that may also be similar in their operation. And that will be arriving in the very near future. You should consider governance for Microsoft Teams no matter where you are within your rollouts and adoption. Power Teams is available right now and we are here to help you.